Perfect. There's nothing like this, you know, the the energy, the you know, the, the expectation, it's amazing, you know. You work so hard to get something done and this feeling of like having people that actually want to watch it, it's it's paradise, you know, it's beautiful. And, uh, I, and I have to say that uh, as a fan I connect a lot with these events, you know. There's a lot happening here and uh, so I enjoy that part too, you know, that I get to hear what's going to happen, meet people that are uh, excited like I am uh, about being part of this universe uh, yeah it's it's a, it's a lovely time it's hard to go back home you know yeah back to to normal well it's it's a beautiful chance we're gonna get to know the character the journey you know I, I, I believe Rogue One is a lot about what happened you know an event and uh, now we have the chance to tell you the story of that character you met there where he comes from why why he got where he got you know and uh, that is beautiful and 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 in this long format i have a chance to explore and to to bring on many layers of of a character that in a in a movie there, there won't be time you know to do it we showed a we showed a, a, a teaser trailer uh, for all the fans, and uh, now it's out there, so everyone can watch it. And and, and it's just a tiny teaser, you know. Uh, it's just the first thing we, we show about the tone. You can you can tell what the tone of the show is, what characters you'll you'll get to meet, and uh, and the energy that the show has, you know. But there's a lot more coming. Um, it's been pretty amazing. You know, I've never been to celebration, so this is the first time I've been here. Um, so it's been pretty incredible to come out and just feel the energy of the whole fan fan base you know it was a little difficult we couldn't see that clearly so you kind of just saw shapes and lightsabers so but i am looking forward to seeing more once we kind of get a moment it's been amazing it's been so great um and just to see all the fans and um the vibe here is really really great it was crazy to see the trailer for the first time and just to see what we'd been shooting for such a long while in wales so um and all of us to be together to see that together i think was really exciting because we created such amazing like friendships from being on set together so yeah yeah i think that's the thing is that because it's like you know a fair few number of episodes you can really see the characters grow and like, my journey in within the show is just so exciting and it's such a full journey and to be able to really experience that and to grow with the character is is brilliant it's so incredible i feel like star Wars celebration is always just the most friendly and energetic and fun place and there's like never a moment where you feel like on your own or unwelcome like everybody like the fans and the people here are just everybody's just so cool yeah it was so exciting. I was so nervous like before going on stage, but as soon as you walk out and you see everybody and hear everybody's excitement, you can't help but just be like, okay, this is fine. I can just calm down. It's great. I think people are going to really, really like it. There's a lot of twists and turns, a lot of action. There's like a lot of a lot of the characters go on their own separate journeys, which is like finding themselves and stuff and accepting themselves. Um, yeah, it's very cool. I think people are going to be excited about it. Insane, insane. I think there's the the show really is, it incorporates the original movie, um, but also bring in this modern vibe to it, you know? Um, and I think they did that really well. Yeah. Insane, it was just lovely to be, to feel that um, welcome that we got out there. I'm still kind of buzzing from it, it was great. Well, that was great. I knew that that was, that was nice to have in my up my sleeve, you know, that I was allowed to, to be the one to announce that because I knew that people would be stoked about it. So it was great. What a great reaction to the, to the surprise. It was insane. Oh my gosh. Even afterwards, my knees were like, then when I heard the choir and then the people's reaction to the choir and then you and saying hello there and everybody being like, yeah. Oh, such a relief that it didn't have to be a secret anymore. <laughs> so glad that people are finally going to get to see it and um, have it be out in the world. There's been so much anticipation and I'm excited for people to have it. It's been something really special. I think this will be something I remember forever. I've never done this before and, um, you know, walking out this morning onto stage and those ex the extraordinary generosity of those fans was really special. Well, we had we showed a, a teaser, like a teaser trailer, um, and 
I think they liked it. I think I think they liked it. I loved it. I thought it was brilliant. The music was extraordinary. It felt so sensory, right? Um, it it was really exciting, and I I hope the fans were as excited uh, about it. Yeah, it's such a gift to be able to come back to this, um, and to be able to come back to this character within a long form narrative, where we get to explore her, and I just. I love that Disney and Kathleen and Tony and Sana have given that time and story to this woman, you know, because she's been around for quite a while and I'm thrilled that now we get to investigate her a bit and, yeah, get to know about her. It's amazing. I mean, you know, the Star Wars celebration is a real celebration of Star Wars um, and it's 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 just thrilling to get to feel that energy. I feel like it's all a little bit more heightened just because you know we haven't been able to do it for a few years and just being able to all gather in this way uh, I think means a lot to people. Um, but yeah, it's just great to be here and be a part of it. That's been one of my favorite parts of all of this is, is getting to reunite with Ewan and, and play these characters again. You know, uh, He's such a lovely man and, and um, someone that I, I, I care a lot about and um, just really nice to get to reconnect with him and, and do this. Absolutely, yeah, no, I love, I love it. We were just having lunch out on the balcony here and you see like Boba Fett, you know, walking down the sidewalk and um, to me that's, that's, you know, part of what makes Star Wars so great is the ability for people to to, you know, really love these characters and, and create their own costumes and um, it's just a lot of fun to be a part of that. Oh my God, it's such an incredible experience. I, I feel like every nerve and every anxiety I had melted away once I like just witnessed how excited everybody was for, for to, to even just be here. Like this is something that people love and people devote themselves to do. They, the amount of effort and and artistry that goes into them dressing up and and coming all the way to Anaheim and like, I mean, it's so special to be able to witness that and also now be a part of it. Yeah, I'm thrilled. The teaser, that was so fun. That was, I mean, it was just an incredible feeling to be able to, you know, put so much work into something and then be there with the people who are going to enjoy it as they first get to witness it. I think that's such a special thing that you so, so rarely get in this industry. I haven't, I've never been with an audience while they experience something for the first time that I've made. So that was really, really special to be able to hear them cheering and enjoying themselves and um, yeah I can't wait for people to, to see the actual show such an incredible thing I mean I think in the t in the teaser you see my character say we need your magic and it, it's it's Willow is such a special heartwarming beautiful wonderful character to be able to come back to screen and now he's he's so necessary in our in our world and in our adventure he's the only one that can really help us so it was really fun as kit to get to meet him someone who like had my parents had so many stories of him growing up so yeah that was a really special moment and also to get to work with the legend Warwick Davis was incredible yeah I mean the coming together that's what it is you see people old and young from all walks of life united by their love of this phenomenal universe and it is so moving actually I got I got kind of choked up by it because it's it's like pure love in the room uh, the, the the cynicism that we put up with on a daily basis from the news and pundits and you know challenges in life is completely evaporated and you just have a room full of people saying we love this and it made I know all of us feel like well we love you that's what it felt like yeah I mean this is the first time we've seen the Grand Inquisitor in the live-action uh, universe so to me that is an enormous honor and one that I took very seriously um, but we also get to see familiar faces return and beloved characters played by beloved actors like Ewan and Hayden. Um, so I think this has kind of like got the best of both worlds. I was so excited to come to Star Wars Celebration this year. I mean I love the event, I've been here for many many years but this time I was going to be sharing the uh, teaser for Willow and talking to the fans about the new project. Something that's very close to me, something I've been working on for the last few years. So yeah to come to Celebration and share this was uh, really a pleasure. You know, it's very humbling when you go out and you get such a lovely reaction from thousands and thousands of people. It's very humbling and quite emotional, actually. Especially, you know, when it's about something unrelated to Star Wars. You know, I know I'm a Star Wars actor, but also, you know, we were talking about Willow here. And I think it's lovely the way the two um, universes can, uh, can cross over. 
you know, anything Lucasfilm, the fans seem to love. So there was a lot of support in the room for what we were doing today. Well, you know, it's lovely to come back to the character of Willow. I first played the character 35 years ago, so, you know, I'm aged a lot since then. I was 17 when we did the movie, now I'm 52. So, yeah, I'm a lot older and wiser, and so is the character. And I think that John Kasdan has written him in such a way that he's matured in a story sense, and um, we kind of really lean into that in the series, which I think is really refreshing and quite good fun.